Hi there. In this video, we're going to be looking at three different um, sensors. The first one is a humidity temperature sensor. It's called uh, the DHT11. Then we'll look at a water sensor. This will detect the presence of water droplets on this device. And then the third of one is a sound sensor. Actually, we won't uh, connect this up to, to the uh, Arduino Uno because I could not find a sketch that could make this detect sound with any reliability at all. So uh, we'll just take a quick look at it at the end of the video. So let's get started with the uh, DHT11. And we'll zoom in, get a close-up. The, the one issue with this device is that there's nothing on the actual module that, that will tell you what the which pins go where. And in actual fact, um, this is the signal pin. This one is for 5 volts and this one is ground. So I'll show you the, uh, the circuit schematic. So here's our module. We have three pins. This one goes to the Arduino. And this is signal. This one is plus 5 volts, and this one is ground, or 0 volts. In order to make this work, you have to attach a 10K resistor. between the signal line and the uh, and ground for this to, to work properly. So this is DHT11. And it does temperature as well as humidity. Okay, so you put this together. plus bar, minus bar, we'll plug this in, we'll use green for minus or ground, and that is this rightmost pin here. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so the rightmost pin is ground, and then we have to take a 10K resistor. I believe this is 10K. Yep. And connect this to our signal, which is the, the leftmost. And the center is plus 5 volts. Now one practice that I have is when I first plug something in and uh, power it up, I check the module and the temperature, if the temperature starts going up, if it starts feeling warm, you should immediately disconnect the power. 
because uh, it's possible that you will have uh, wired up something wrong and it's drawing a lot of current which is resulting as heat and if you leave it it gets very very hot and eventually it, destro it destroys itself so uh, I just check it my finger if it starts getting hot I'll disconnect but in most cases it should be fine as long as you're careful uh, now this final signal needs to go to the Arduino but we don't quite know what uh, pin the signal connects to until we open up the uh, open up the sketch so let's do that now so I'll go to my sketchbook and find my uh, actually it's not in the sketchbook it's in our examples so in the examples you're looking for the DHT sensor library. If you don't have it listed, oops, if you don't have it listed, then you should go to include library, manage libraries, and it's downloading the libraries index. And look for DHT and it's the DHT sensor library that you're looking for. If it's not installed you need to, to install it before you go to the next step. So the sensor library example is here it's just called DHT tester And this is it here. Before you um, go any farther, you need to define which DHT module you're using. By default, it uh, connects up with the DHT22. We need to comment that out and uncomment the DHT11. Once that's done, you should be able to check your um, board and check the port. And if those two work out, upload it. What this does is it sends to the serial monitor uh, the readings as they go. And, uh, oh, wait a minute. So I forgot to do one thing. I forgot to connect our pin, our signal pin, to the Arduino. And so this is digital pin 2 that we need to connect to. So I'm going to do that off camera. And let's try it again. There we go. So the humidity in this room is 43%, temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, and it's got something that it calls heat index. I guess that's like a humidex. This particular sensor will um, detect fairly reliably anything from about 10% humidity to 80% humidity and it's accurate to within 2 Celsius degrees. I'm going to put my finger on the module to warm it up. And it's starting to get warmer.
And actually my finger is giving off extra humidity, which is being detected by the unit. So I'll take my finger off and I'll blow on it. And eventually that temperature should come down. So this is just uh, an example of the, the way to test it. Um, the sketch just sets the serial port and it does one command to the DHT library to begin and then it reads humidity and temperature and uh, then sends it out by means of the serial monitor. So that's the DHT11 unit. The next sensor we're going to look at is the water sensor. And the, uh, the sketch is water sensor demo. And this is extremely simple. This is just a, a setup. And then within the loop, we're analog re reading, uh, analog pin zero, and delaying 100 milliseconds. There's no setup uh, involved in uh, setting it up to read analog. Uh, the pins are already set to read analog. They're only uh, input only, the analog pins. So um, let's look at the actual unit and um, uh, connect it up. Okay, so we'll take apart our DHT11 circuit. And this is the unit here, close up. With this unit, there is indicators, there are indicators for what each pin on the module does, minus or ground, plus five volts, and S for signal. So for this one, um, connect that up there. So the minus is the one on the left. And the left is ground. The one in the middle is plus 5 volts. And the, there's a little light that goes on here. And nothing's heating up. And we'll connect the signal, which is in the middle. Sorry, it's on the right. The rightmost pin is connected to analog zero, which is this one right here. I'm going to put this on its side because I want to drip some water on this plate. So uh, off camera I'm going to upload the sketch. And now we'll switch to the serial monitor.
So here it is. It's giving values between 0 and 255, I'm assuming. So they're very low, uh, very low readings now. Let's see what happens when we put a little bit of water. I'm going to put a drop of water from the water bottle. And now we're at about 160. So here's our little droplet of water. I'm going to try wiping that away. And it's now gone. I'm going to put a wet finger on there, see what it does. Yeah. So my wet finger moves it up a little bit, but it's not as much as a drop of, droplet of water. So uh, this could be used as a like a rain sensor. You could dip it in some water, and uh, I'm not sure how long it would last before it begins to corrode, but it's really just good for experimentation. Um, probably you would want something that has gold contacts so that they don't uh, corrode or um, tarnish. So that's the water sensor. So the last uh, element of our uh, video today is the sound sensor that comes in your kit and it looks like a rather impressive little module. This is the uh, microphone. There's a potentiometer here, a mi mi micro potentiometer, that presumably allows you to set the sensitivity. Uh, there's an op amp comparator chip here with some other uh, resistors and capacitors. There's an LED light to show when you've got it um, connected. And there are four pins. It has actually two signal pins. One is an analog pin to give you an analog output uh, of this device. And then there's a digital as well, which would just be on or off. And then you've got plus 5 volts and, and ground. I wasn't able to make this work uh, with any reliability. So I'm just showing it to you. You can look at your own. But, uh, and if you can find a script and get yours to work, mine didn't work and I took uh, another one out of another kit and tried it and it worked uh, as badly as, as this one. So, um, not quite sure. I, I haven't had a lot of success with sound sensors and the Arduino. So, um, I, I, I'm sure there's a way of doing it, but these little modules don't seem to work. So uh, have fun with your uh, humidity sensor and your water detector sensor, and we'll see you next time.